I am often asked, why did I become an artist? Well, when I was at school, I was asked to complete a project on Impressionists and Impressionism. Now, as a 15-year-old boy, I cannot say that this really wowed me in any great way. In fact, I was more interested in what was going on outside the classroom rather than inside. However, I was soon taken in by the works of Van Gogh and George Surat, and really admired George Surat's pointillism style. Those dots fascinated me. I started then to take an interest in visited Plymouth Museum, where I saw works by artists including Stanhope Forbes, and found the quality of his work really amazing too, although the styles were completely different. I was not that good at art when I was at school. When I look back now, I think that was a missed opportunity. I always wanted to own some original art. I was never really in a position where I could afford it. I dabbled with watercolour at home, sat at the kitchen table, having to pack it away every time, but it was at best intermittent. Then one day, when my wife and I were wandering around the galleries in St Ives in Cornwall, I stopped and looked at a particular piece of abstract art and thought, how difficult can that actually be? It was really quite expensive for what it was. So I went out, I bought some cheap paints, some cheap paper and some brushes. And to be honest, I haven't really looked back since. I am continually motivated by the intellectual and emotional movement as I now slowly progress.